your local weather authority with meteorologist Dan Reynolds. Well, there it is, that hazy look again on the Great Post Building's weather cam. That's thanks to that Canadian smoke, and that gives us an air quality alert through Monday. That yellow box, that's a severe thunderstorm warning just outside the area. Take it easy at this air quality. Now, there's the look right now, and you can see we're in that high red shading. But things will get a little better as we go into Monday and Tuesday. So some improvement on the way of rain, if we get some, that would help as well. Here's what we're tracking. Air quality alert, rain to start the week. Some very close to us right now. A little cooler late next week. It looks like too late next week. We go into maybe a dry pattern, at least for a few days. Here's what we have at the airport right now. 84, 63% humidity, southwest wind at 10. The pressure's falling. No rain here at the studios. We picked up uh, just over a quarter inch yesterday, so we're up to 5.15, well ahead of that monthly average. I mean, a rainy July, it looks like. 60 in Paris this morning. Warmed quickly, though, to 67 at Mattoon, also at Vincennes. High temperatures, 80s across the board. Warmer to the south, 88 at Vincennes, Floor, Also at Effingham and 85 at the airport, and a little cooler up in Paris. Temps right now just slowly starting to cool. Temperature trend is... Not going to be bad. It's going to be summer-like. We may push near the 90 mark a couple of days this week when we get some sunshine. Winds out of the southwest tonight, west-southwest. They'll be in that 5 to 15 mile an hour range. Metro view, uh, we have some rain off to the west, plenty of cloud cover in place. So if you want to do anything this evening, probably need to take care of it in the next hour or two as we have some rain marking its way close to us. Here's the big picture. Dry out to the west, but we have this little batch of showers and storms right there. It's been holding up. You can see regionally there kind of refires as it moves in around the Effingham area. And here's a look locally on satellite and radar. And we've had a couple of thunderstorm warnings to our west. Now here's a live look with the Dorset Automotive Doppler radar. That's north of us. And this severe thunderstorm warnings down to the southwest out of our viewing area. So we're okay for now. We do have a marginal threat for much of the valley. That's the low end of the worry scale. Uh, basically, it's a five-level system, so that's level one. And then you go east of Terre Haute, just general thunderstorm activity. There's some concern over oh, damaging winds and also large hail. No tornado threat out of this, though. Now, as we go through, you can see future cast. It rapidly shoots on through the area. Then Monday, we'll see another day where we'll see scattered showers and storms. So it's that pattern again. Tuesday night, we have another system moving in. That could bring some really heavy rainfall, too, into Wednesday. We're talking two-inch rainfalls possible out of that. That's Tuesday night going overnight into Wednesday. Now, for tonight, we'll keep an eye to the sky. Potential for a watch to be issued back to our west. Uh, thunderstorms late. This is for Farmersburg, the station right here, 66 with a low. And then tomorrow, scattered storms. I don't think it all day rain at all, though. 83 for the high. And then as you look ahead on the seven-day forecast, well... Just typical this time of year. A little warm at times, 87 Wednesday, 90 on Thursday. We'll put some more morning showers and storms in for Wednesday. Those will come in late Tuesday night. That's the one that could be really heavy. And a few around on Thursday after that. Friday in the next weekend, we cool a little bit. And we hope we go rain-free in the next weekend, Jack.